Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be taking a look at some figures that I got over at a thrift store. So let's get started. Alright guys, so we actually did this pop hunt over on the second channel. It was actually more of just a collectibles hunt in general because I got a lot of really cool Pez. And if you guys want to go check out what we got over there, we got some really, really great stuff. I'll actually have a link to that video in the description down below. But before we get into the pops, I do want to show one thing that we got while we were on that trip. And it was this right here. This is the Pez Collector's Guide. This one actually came out in 1994, but it does have pretty much every single Pez from 1994 to like 1950s or whatever it was when Pez started. So I think it's really awesome. This is actually a guy's collection. And it says in the beginning here, I'm gonna read a little bit, but if you guys wanna check out more about it, we'll go over to the second channel video. But it says here guys, Richard Geary grew up in Lawton, Oklahoma. He has been actively pursuing the hobby of Pez collecting since 1983. So he started collecting in 1983, and this book came out in 1984. So this is a pretty crazy book full of Pez. Now guys, let's show off some clips from the second channel video where we're picking up the pops. Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're over in Value Village. I'm actually on the second channel today. We're kind of Pez hunting. Um, because I have seen some pretty good stuff here recently. So let's go to the toy section and see what they've got today. All right, guys, so I already found one. It's got a couple Pez inside of here. This is nice. Okay, so we got one of the ones from Paw Patrol. We've also got a Minion, as well as R2-D2. So not bad so far. I also ran into a couple pops here. We've got one of the Doctors from Doctor Who, as well as the Catwoman here from Gotham. So I think we'll pick them up as well. I actually found two more pops over here, guys. We found the original Superman, as well as Agent Carter. So I'm going to be getting these as well today. The one's $7.99, then the other one's $5.99. So not bad. Okay, so we stopped over at Michael's for a second because my mom had to come to grab some stuff So I thought I'd show off the pops while we were here. They have the good place So it looks like they are getting in some newer stuff um, But they are selling them for $16.99 you guys are wondering why it's because there's usually a coupon here So they usually go down to like I don't know whatever it is like twelve ten dollars um, But yeah, there's nothing here that I'm really looking for today because I have most of the stuff and They do have the Wheel of Fortune ones which are nice, but I don't think I'm gonna get them today They got Pat Sajak and then I also saw Vanna White Ah, uh, She's back there. No chases that I can see so I'm not gonna get them, but yeah, I just wanna show them off because they're here. All right, guys, so we are back in the studio now, and we did actually get four figures here. We got these ones. So we got Selena Kyle from Gotham. Now, this one is $5.99, not too bad at all. We also got this one here. Now, this one is Agent Carter. This one's really cool. This one's from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., if I'm not mistaken. This might be the Agent Carter show. Oof, I don't know anymore. Anyways, we'll find out in a bit when I search these up on the Funko app. But this one here was $7.99. This one was the most expensive one that we picked up. Then we also got the original Superman for $5.99 and one of the Doctors from Doctor Who. We'll again find out which one this is in a little bit. I think this might be the 11th or 10th Doctor um, for $5.99 as well. But instead of me just looking up the prices on the Funko app, I thought it would be fun to turn this into a game. So I brought my friend Luca on today and he's going to be guessing which one's the cheapest to the most expensive. So anyways, let's call in Luca. Hey guys. How's it going? Hey guys. Hey Tristan. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good, not bad. Alright guys, so Luca is here. Now Luca, these four figures, you might not know much about them, but you did recently start getting into collecting figures. That's now right. I know you don't know much about them as of right now. You probably know a little bit, like little what bit. figures are out and, and stuff like that. Um, but which ones are some of the ones that you do own at the moment? Uh, the 8-bit Predator. Okay. I own the 8-bit Werewolf. I don't know what that's from. That one's though. from uh, Altered Beasts. It's I think a video game. Mistaken. Something like that, yeah. Uh, what else do I own? You have some um, Spider-Man ones? Two Spider-Man ones from the new movie. Right. Oh, I think you got that in a pop-on with me, did you? I've... We went to the movie theater? I think it was a pop-on. I think so. Maybe. I think you came. I'm pretty sure we went and we bought a few. Yeah. That was a long time ago, though. It was a while back. If you guys remember that video, it was, I think, before everything had closed down. Um, it was probably in 2019, I think it was. But they had, for yes. some reason, super cheap stuff over mm -hmm. at, um, which one was it? It was uh, Cineplex, I think it was. The Cineplex, yeah. And they were doing, like, three for $20, and that was even counting the one from Aladdin. That was the movie moment where they were on mm -hmm. the carpet, the magic carpet one. That one was really cool. Somewhere. Yeah, it's in, I don't know where it is, it's somewhere around here. But anyways, you're going to be guessing these ones today. So we're going to take them out of the bags, check them out. They don't come in boxes, but you're going to see if you can guess which one's the cheapest to, I guess, the most expensive. Let's do it. So guys, let's start with this one here. This one, I guess, we'll start with is the first figure here. The, the, what? The prices are on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, what they're, not the yes. <laughs> Okay. What they're worth, not what you paid for them. Yeah. All right, guys, so let's get started with this. <laughs> We're going to rerun that one. All right, guys, so let's get started with this one here, and let's see what you think this one's worth. So maybe let's let you guess for the first one, and then you can say if you think the next one's higher or lower. So what do you think this one here from Doctor Who do you think could be worth? Well, you can also check the foot to see what year it came out as well. I don't know if you can see it too check well. Check the foot. Yeah, so I paid $5.99 for that one. It's out of box. 2009. We're just going to say what it could be in It's a good in year. Box. It's a good vintage. 2009? 2009. It says... 2009. 
No, uh, hold on, other way. It's, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not 2009. 2015. No. 2015. 2009. Though. No, no, no. The copyright was for 2009. The, the, the oh, figure yeah. came out in 2015. Still doesn't matter. Anyway, doesn't matter. But how, uh, how much do you think uh, that one could be? Well, considering that the head is nice and swivelly, that and, doesn't... and the year is 2015, that's also the second best vintage, um, I'm going to guess... Are you making stuff up? No. That's what, that's what <laughs> classifies an expensive pop. Okay, okay. Thirteen dollars. You're gonna say thirteen dollars. Thirteen fifty. Okay, even. sounds good. So now this one you think is thirteen dollars. That is our first pop. Now we're gonna see if you think this one is more or less than that one, and what you think it's worth. Bum. Okay, so this one right here is the original Superman. Now we're not gonna go off of what what it's like worth out of box and stuff like that, or if it has like little dings on it. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna go off what it says on the Funko app. So what do you think this one could be worth here? You said this was the original. It is. Oh, these are one of the old yeah, ones. Yeah, let me actually check the bottom of the foot here just to see, just for fun. This one came out in twenty ten. Wow, so these five are, years before this figure. One. Yes. This is an old one. This is an old one, Tristan. I think if I'm not mistaken, this one might be vaulted now. It's either vaulted or it's just one of those ones that, you know, stores don't order in too much because it is an older figure. But I'm going to buy that one still. I'm going to say this one is probably around $40. You're going to say 40 40 Okay, so you think this one is more than, than this? Figure. Way more. So which one? Which side are we going? That, that, this side's more than? It's going to go, so this is the lowest. This That's is the high. highest. Over here is the highest. This okay, is the cool. Lowest. Sounds good. All right. So next up, one thing I do want to mention about the Selena Kyle here that we paid $5.99 for. We paid $5.99 for all of them, by the way, except for the Agent Carter here. Um, this one right here did not come with a base. So they normally do come with a little clear base. I don't know if she'll stand. Oh, she will. So that's good. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but they do have a little hole in the bottom for, a, uh, you know, like a spot for to put the Platform. peg with the thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this one here is from Gotham. It's like Catwoman before she turns into Catwoman. How much do you think so this one's worth? Right? That's still cat I guess it's still Catwoman. When? Um, girl. Girl comes with I mean, kinda. This one came out in 2015 as well. So what do you think this one's worth? <clears throat> That's a good question. Yeah. Uh, so this is from Catwoman? Well, it's from Gotham. The show, like, you know, like, it's in, like, Gotham, but it's before everybody's turned into kind of, like, their superheroes and stuff. Oh, okay, or okay, okay. super villains, I guess you could no, say let me, as well. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Was there a Catwoman movie? I don't think there's a, ooh, there's probably been some sort of Catwoman movie. I don't think there has though. Maybe not. It's a big. Uh, so they've been more recently doing a lot of female superhero movies that's true. and stuff like that. But this came out when? 2015. Yeah, 2015. I know some. I, I know. I, I'll give you a little hint. Here. Sorry to cut you off, but I do know some of these are worth a little bit more. There's the Oswald Cobblebot, which is mm -hmm. the Penguin before he turns into the Penguin. I think that one's worth like 30 bucks. So, well, okay. I'll give you a hint here. So this is 40. Okay. This is 13.50. 13.50. We got one more here. Sure. So I'm gonna say this is probably around twelve to eleven dollars. Okay. So I'm gonna put this right here. Sounds good. Are you leaving a hole for Agent Carter there? Because Agent Carter We're is the one we spent a little more on. Uh, yeah. More on. This one is um, a bobblehead as well. Um, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just the fact that um, Star Wars and Marvel have to be bobbleheads because mm -hmm. of a licensing issue with Hasbro. Okay. Um, so this one is a little bit different. Makes this sense. one also is supposed to have a peg, so I don't know if she's going to stand. No, she's not going to stand for sure. Her head's a little back a bit, probably because it's been in a bag or whatever for so long. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it does tilt back. But this one here is Agent Carter. This one came out in 2011. 15 as well. Close. Weird. Three 2015 ones. Anyways, what do you think this one's worth? Agent Carter, right? Agent Carter, yeah. Now, I know there was an Asian Carter show. There was. That's what this is from. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This makes sense. And I think the show's not running anymore, if I'm not mistaken. No, I don't think it is. Mm -mm. But she was featured in Endgame. Was it Endgame? I think. Yeah, yeah because they had to yeah, go back was. in time yes. and yeah, do all yeah, those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you know what? This is probably a really good one. Maybe gonna... since after the movie, it's gone up a bit. I'm a... Yeah. That's what I'm I was giving you a little say. hints here. I, I actually, I, I don't know. Say. To be honest, with these ones, I, I didn't own them, so I don't know what they're worth. I'm gonna say this is probably a solid twenty-two dollars. Okay. Value. So where do you put that one? Right there. Right it's, not gonna, it's probably not gonna stand, so you can just lean it down. I'll make it stay. It's too bad. I'll make it stay. It's got the bobblehead. It's not gonna stand. Okay. Anyways, guys, now that he's put them in order, too bad this one won't stand. Let's find out if he's right. Or if he's not right exactly with the prices, at least if this one's the cheapest to the most expensive. All right, guys, so I pulled up the Funko app. We are going to start with the Selena Kyle here. I think I'm just going to type in Gotham and it'll come up because sometimes when you type in their names, they don't. All right, so you said Selena Kyle was the cheapest and she is worth $8. So, so it's not right. 1350, but it is the cheapest one. I don't think you had to guess the price. I think it's just yeah, if yeah, it was yeah. the cheapest and most expensive. Okay. And the Oswald Cobble Pot that I was talking about earlier is worth 18, a little less than I thought. 
but it's still worth something. Now guys, the next one here, it's one of the ones, you really, you're gonna hold that the whole time? Absolutely. Next, <laughs> next one is one of the ones from Doctor Who. I'm not too sure which Doctor it is, but they don't have too many Doctor Who figures, so it should come up all right, but just give me a second, let me see if I can find it. All right guys, so I found the Doctor Who figures. I don't know which one this is, so I kind of have to go through all of them here. There isn't too many, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. Um, but let's see here. Are you struggling holding that one? It's, I'm gonna it's, get it's it so stay. annoying because the I'm head's too big. I don't think you are. I'm going to. All right, guys. So let me see. This one here is okay. It's the tenth Doctor. It's worth seventeen dollars. So you're this? on track right now. Yes. Let's go. Okay, you're on track right now. But I feel like Agent Carter and Superman might not be worth more than no, seventeen. What? I don't uh, know. But I don't I'll know. give you one swap right now. So you know the one two swap. characters. I'll okay, so these are right. I got these right. So this one is probably the cheapest, maybe. But if you want to swap these two around, you can. Knowing what the price is, you can move these around however you want. No, I'm going to keep them exactly the way they are. Okay, so let's 100%. do Agent Okay, let's do Agent Carter next. Time. I'm so confident. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Now, is this one Agent Carter with or without the orb in her hand? So she's got the orb in her hand because there's two the versions orb. of it. There's the Hot Topic exclusive one where the orb is closed and it's golden, and then there's the normal one where she's got just the thing open. So I think it's the open one, right? If I'm not yeah. saying yes, this so is the common one. It's worth $14. So this is... That was 17. So it was 8, 17, 14. You were kind of confident there. I was. Bro, okay. I was off by two bucks. All right, now we have one more left. Three bucks. I'm leaving that in. All right, okay, guys. <laughs> now we're, we have one more left. Would you like to swap them around to see if Superman would go somewhere else? Okay, so this is what we're playing with so far. We got this. I mean, of course you know these three prices, so maybe just where do you think Batman would fit? And I'll give you... Or, Potentially the cheapest. I said, I said Batman. Where do you think Superman would fit... Um, and we'll, I'll, I'll give you all the points if you win them. You know what I mean? Well, this isn't going to stay, Tristan, so... Um, you know what? 8, 14, 17. 17. You think he's going to be more still? More than 17? Yeah, 100%. Okay. All right, guys, let's, let's find out. All right, guys, so we're back now, and you said it was going to be worth more than $17. Yes. What do you think he's going to be worth? I forget what I said in the... I think you said $40. Did I? Yeah. yeah. I, I think I said, like, 35 50, something, like, something, I don't know. Whatever what it was. I said something. We can but roll the tape on that. Roll the tape now. I'm going to say this one is probably around $40. You're going to say 40 40 All right, we rack. Um, <laughs> okay, what do you think it is? Okay, I don't think it's 40 bucks anymore. But looking at your face, I'm going to say it's 20 bucks now. It's $15. So, close. if you were to do this the real way, it would have been... No, this was 14 Oh, it would have been like that. Right, right, right. Three. Anyways, you were close. It was fun. I got was a one fun right. Game. I yeah, got you did right. get one right. So I mean, technically, you were two right there for, for a little bit, but then we didn't know the prices yeah. to these ones. Um, That's true. But anyways, guys, this was just a fun video I wanted to do, um, kind of bring in other people to guess the figures. Now, you are starting to collect a couple more pops, like I had said. I am. Um, so these things are out of box. They're not actually worth that much anyways. They're probably worth, like, maybe half of what it even says on the Funko app, just because they're out of box and don't yeah. have, like, nice boxes or even great paint jobs. But it's still fun to find stuff over at Value Village and, you know, other thrift stores and stuff like that that could be worth even just a little bit. Like, I found, like, the original, I think it was one of the ones from The Hobbit, worth like 40 50 bucks something like that i found nick fury as well from the movies and that one's worth like i think 80 something like that found them at the store yeah i found them at value village oh, they okay. weren't in box of course um but they are still fun figures to find so anyways hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see more from both of us in the future don't forget to don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been an episode of top pops popsters thanks for watching see you guys next time hey you made it to the end of the video if you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, <laughs> well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I screwed up with the next time there. That was a good end. video. See you guys next time. Great. See you guys next time. <laughs> That's gotta stay in too. <laughs> <laughs>